What's up, everybody? Welcome to Converge. On behalf of Pastor Andy and Leah Heiss, I just want to say welcome home. We're so honored that you've chosen to worship with us and pray with us tonight. And so tonight, I'm really excited about being able to pray together with you for our nation, for our cities, for our churches, just that God would move and give favor to us and to the people around us the Lord would just send revival to our nation. And so I'm super excited about today. On Sundays, we've been in a series called Unshakable Hope. It's all about the promises of God. And as we've been talking about it, it just really reminded me of a verse in Galatians um, that talks about the fulfillment of God's promises. And it, it talks about the difference between Isaac and Ishmael. And so if you remember back to the Old Testament, Abraham had two kids. He had Ishmael who was born um, through Hagar, his servant, and then he had Isaac, who was born through his wife, Sarah. And God had promised him a son. He had waited 11 years, and he still didn't have a baby. And so he kind of took things into his own hands, made it happen on his own. And then God told him, he's like, man, I promised you a baby, and I'm going to fulfill that promise. And it was 25 years from the time that God promised him a son to the time that Isaac was born. It was just incredible faith that Abraham waited 25 years for God to fulfill that promise. But this is what Galatians chapter 4 verse 23 says. It says, The son of the slave wife was born in a human attempt to bring about the fulfillment of God's promise. But the son of the freeborn wife was born as God's own fulfillment of his promise. What I want you to know is, is that God is faithful to keep his promises. If God said it, he's going to do it. He's a promise maker and he's a promise keeper. There's nothing that God has said. There's nothing that God has promised that will not come to fruition. And so we can know that God is going to keep his promises. But I want to ask you, what are the places in your life where you're trying to bring about the fulfillment of God's promises in your own human effort? What are the places in your life where you're trying to work for your own worth? What are the places in your life where you're trying to do things through your own power, through your own authority, and not relying on the Holy Spirit? So what I want to ask you to do tonight is I want you to be honest with yourself, be honest with the Lord. And as we pray, I just want you to have conversation with the Lord and just say, God, I just want you to show me the places where I'm trying to fulfill your promises in my own power. And if that's the case, I want you to surrender that thing to Him. Because honestly, when we start to try to control things, we start to try to take over things, what that reveals is, is that we're not relying on the power of the Holy Spirit, that we're not surrendering those things. And so as the Lord begins to reveal those things to you, He never reveals it for condemnation. He never reveals it so that you feel terrible about yourself. That's not the point of revelation. He reveals things to you for the sake of freedom. And so if the Lord begins to reveal those things to you tonight, what I want you to do is I just want you to confess those things and I want you to surrender those things. And I want you to begin to rest in the fulfillment of God's promises through His own fulfillment. And I want you to rest in the power of the Holy Spirit. And so tonight, I want you to pray that prayer. Just ask the Lord, God, where is it that I'm not relying on you, that I'm not trusting in you? Where is it where I'm trying to overachieve? Where is it that I'm trying to control? Where is it that I'm walking in insecurity or false, um, false humility, where I'm walking in pride? Where is it that I'm not trusting you? And then I want you to begin to surrender those things to Him tonight. And so what I do know is that I know that if God has promised you something, I feel like if God's put a dream in your heart, that God will bring those things to life. But it will never, ever be accomplished in the way that God meant it to be if you're trying to do it in your own power. If you're trying to do it in your own strength, your own giftedness, your own um, intellect, your own um, humility, your own um, sense of humor, your own giftedness, whatever it is that you're relying on, those things are never going to bring about the fulfillment of God's promise. And so what I want to encourage you to do tonight is just rest in Him, to walk in grace, to walk in mercy, and allow the Holy Spirit to work through you. And so I want to lead you in a prayer tonight, and I want you to pray this prayer with me. And I feel like there's power in surrender. And so just begin to have a conversation with the Lord, and let's worship and pray together tonight. And so let's pray this. Father, God, we just ask that you would reveal to us, God, the places in our life, God, where we're living by our own human effort. God, I pray that you would reveal to us places, God, that we've tried to control, God, things that we've tried to hold on to. God, I pray that in Jesus' name, God, that you would bring those to our mind right now. And in Jesus' name, God, I pray that you would, God, set us free, God, from trying to control. God, I pray that you would set us free from trying to accomplish things on our own. God, we want to do things that are bigger than us. God, we want to be a part of the story that you're writing. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, God, we just ask that you would help us, God, to lay those things down, God, to surrender them to you, because, God, we want to live 
in the power of the Holy Spirit. God, we wanna live in grace. We wanna live in mercy. God, we don't want to live by the work of our own hands. And so Father, in Jesus' name, God, we surrender our dreams to you. God, we surrender our worries to you. God, our doubts and our fears. God, in Jesus' name, God, that we lay them at your feet. And God, we just ask that you would move in power. God, I pray that you would fill us to overflowing with the Holy Spirit. God, fill us with wisdom. God, fill us with revelation. God, I pray that you would fill us with supernatural gifts, God, that we can't walk in in our own power. And so, Father, I pray that you would do incredible things in the life of every single person watching this video. God, I pray that you would open doors, God, for them to be able to love and to serve and, God, to change the world. And so, Father, thank you so much for what you're doing. God, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thank you so much for joining us tonight. You can follow along and you can pray with us. Um, there is a playlist on Spotify. There's a playlist on YouTube. You can follow that um, through our app. We would love for you to worship and to pray with us together. Thank you so much for joining us. Love you guys. Hope you have an incredible week and we'll see you Sunday.